Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick and today on Polar Ice Creamery we are going to deal with Caramel Cone Explosion. That's been asked for a few times, strangely enough, and it was definitely for sale in Canada. When we were there we saw it. It's the one of the Hagen dazs extras with a nice dark coloured tubs and tubs look really good. Um, uh, but it was a it, little bit of research showed that shows that caramel cone was a previous flavor that is no longer available but it was different to the caramel cone explosion that you get now from what i can tell the original flavor had swirls of caramel through it and chocolate covered cone pieces and the new one has the almond they call it praline but we over here would call it brittle so uh, along with the chocolate covered cone pieces and a caramel ice cream. Oh my God, there's so many things that they change. Let's just see what we end up with. So the first thing for this caramel cone explosion monstrosity is the caramel. So we're gonna start with our sugar, add into that little bit of water. That's two tablespoons of water in there and then get it boiling away. No stirring, just swirling. Once it starts to turn a light brown colour, keep an eye on it because it will start to turn dark very quickly at that point. Once it's turned the colour that you want, turn the heat off and gently add in your cream and your butter. Remember this will bubble up quite a lot so just be prepared for that. It doesn't bubble up as much if your butter is warm but I find that the caramel separates much easier with warm butter. So. Keep stirring and eventually it will all come together, at which point you can take your caramel off the heat and put it to the side. So the next stage is the actual ice cream itself. And what we're gonna do is surprise, surprise, we're gonna start with our milk and bring in our other ingredients. Here we've got our sugar, which has got a stabilizer in it. And then we're gonna add in our dextrose. And once that comes up to a nominal temperature, that could be anything from 30 to 50 degrees, we're gonna add in our skim milk powder. Get that nicely combined. And then at that stage, we're going to bring in our caramel that we made gonna put the whole lot into this ice cream base. Stir it well and just keep it warmed or somewhere to 50 to 60 degree mark. You need to make sure that that caramel is completely incorporated into the base. Once it's ready, you can take it off the heat and put it in a container and then add in your cream, give it a final stir and then put it in the fridge. The next thing we're gonna do is deal with the almonds. So this is where we're gonna make our praline slash brittle, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are. There seems to be a bit of a, uh, an unusual situation with praline and brittle. They're called different things in different places, but either way, what's in the ice cream is relatively hard chunks of caramel with almond pieces in it. And that's what we're gonna make here. We're gonna take our blanched almonds and put them on a baking tray and pop them in the oven at 175 for about 15 to 20 minutes, just to get them toasted slightly and bring the flavor forward a bit more. Then once they've finished, we're gonna start with the caramel part of this almond praline slash brittle. Again, we're gonna, we're gonna add our sugar and water into the pan and get it nice and hot, bubbling away until we get to the color that we want. At that stage, we're gonna take the almonds out of the oven. The oven is off at this stage. And we're gonna blitz them in our blender. No, we don't wanna get them powdered, but we just wanna make them a bit smaller. You could smash them with a rolling pin if you want. Whatever works for you, just break them up into smaller pieces. Then you can see we've got a nice golden color to the caramel. We are gonna add in our almond pieces into that, give it a nice good stir. This is a great stage actually, if you didn't get the depth of color you wanted, just keep it on the heat. Just keep it on the heat, stirring it well, and eventually that caramel will come to the color that you want a little bit more controllably. Once it's reached that color, take it off the heat and put it on a silicon baking tray, get it flat and let it cool down completely. The 
the final element of this ice cream is the chocolate covered waffle cone pieces. So apparently it's a milk chocolate. So we're gonna take our milk chocolate and we're gonna melt it in the microwave and just gonna add in a teaspoon or two of neutral tasting coconut oil. You don't want this to taste a coconut at all. So go for one of the deodorized coconut oils. Once that's completely mixed in, we're gonna take our cone pieces and we're gonna dip them in the chocolate. Now I'm gonna try this two ways because the first way look, just looks really messy and I mean, literally got chocolate everywhere as you can see. It's all over my fingers, it's on the floor, it's on the walls, it's on the child. It, chocolate literally everywhere. If you've seen me work with chocolate, you know I am rubbish at it. So we're gonna keep going with those and then we're gonna try the final plan of taking all the remaining cone pieces, put them in the chocolate tub and mix it all together and put it in one big lump on that little pan there. And we're gonna shove that whole thing in a fridge and just see what happens. Now we're ready to break up our almond praline or brittle and we're just gonna put it on a nice surface and smash it up just like that and magic. They're all in little cubes into the pots. So before we actually prepare the ice cream in your machine, we're gonna get all our components ready. That means taking out your chocolate covered waffle pieces, put them in a container, keep them in the freezer until the last minute. And we're actually now gonna look at churning some ice cream, thankfully. So with your ice cream base completely chilled in the fridge, take it out, give it a final mix. So at the final few minutes of churning your ice cream, you're gonna add in your almond praline bits. If you've not got a strong ice cream machine, I recommend you add these after you've put it in your tub, but we've got a nice strong machine so we can add it all in and it'll crunch it up nicely. Once that's mixed in, the last little bit is to add in your chocolate covered waffle pieces just get that mixed in for a few seconds, turn your machine off and load the tub up. Put it in the freezer for a few hours until you're ready to eat it. There is a lot to this ice cream. My wife has just passed the tub to me out the freezer. Let's get some scooped up and see what we ended up with, shall we? Look at that tub. It's amazing. Big explosion, lots of caramel, lots of waffle covered pieces. Scoopy scoopy. Let's chat more scoop. Scooped really well. I mean, it's been out of the freezer for a, a couple of minutes, so I probably recommend you do the same thing. The little almondy pieces. They're really nice. Really helps with that toast. The toastiness comes through. I wasn't sure whether it would or not. Almonds don't toast amazingly well, but that's really nice. It's got a kind of woody note to the caramel, so you get that. It's almost peanut kind of flavor coming through, but ultimately it's really, really good. Let's see what this tastes like, shall we? Corny. Get off my beard. A couple of surprising things that neither of us thought would happen. One is this does not go rock solid in the ice cream, which is really pleasantly surprising because unless you've got good teeth, some chunks of caramel and ice cream are like bullets. That's not done it. It just, it just falls apart in your mouth very much like it does not in the ice cream. So that's really good. And second is the chocolate covered cone pieces, completely crunchy still. So making sure that they're completely covered in chocolate helps obviously keep the cone away from the ice cream, stops them going soggy, etc., etc. Um, the waffle cones were just store bought. We don't have the means to make them at home and I'm certainly not gonna buy a machine just to make those for this video. 
but you can buy waffle cones basically anywhere in your supermarket in your local ice cream shop i'm sure they'll, they'll sell some to you if you want them but a few people have asked for this and it turned out a, a really good ice cream really nice strong caramel flavor to the ice cream base nice texture change between the waffle pieces and the caramel pieces and the ice cream overall i'm really impressed with this flavor if this is something that you can get then you know let us know what you think let us know if the recipe change really did your nut in if you're english um but we could only find it in canada so we don't know if it is available anywhere else but let us know in the comments if you can get this where you are and if you are going to make this one i mean there is a fair few bits to this ice cream not gonna lie but you know good things come to those who wait anyway thanks very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next week <coughs>